The Harris Geospatial Group is made up of really a variety of products um, that include some um, of the portfolio that came from the Excellus uh, acquisition in July of 2015. And so we have a broad array of commercial COTS products, um, probably best known for tools like Envy and IDL, which are still market leaders in the industry for imagery, analytics, and visualization. And we're complemented by a rich array of of IP and capabilities and product offerings in the government system space, which is another part of the geospatial division. So our mission as part of the commercial group has been to look beyond our tools and start to work on real world problems that we can solve with our technology in specific markets like utilities, agriculture, and transportation. is an American company but is, is really an international organization and we have offices around the world, sales and development offices uh, throughout Europe as well as Japan and then we have a very rich international distribution channel in large part made up of Esri uh, distributors so we share um, a lot of rich experience in every market throughout the world. Um, our revenue is primarily um, in North America and Europe um, but we are seeing lots of growth in both Latin and South America as well as in Asia. Harris has been heavily involved in the deep learning space for many years um, in some internal and government funded development. Recently that work has been commercialized and we're finding some very very interesting and unique applications of deep learning in the imagery space and I I believe that's where um, Harris continues to have a bit of a differentiator in terms of uh, many things you read about in, in technology today around machine learning and AI it is very broad based looking at, at data trends and things, but the applications to imagery are, are quite specific and it goes well beyond um, what typically you'll see around object detection. What we're moving to is starting to use that deep learning technology to actually extract information and be able to use it and analyze it. For example, we've recently prototyped and delivered a solution using deep learning to extract features from LiDAR point clouds. And that is really a disruptive use of that AI technology um, for a specific imagery focused use. And we're very excited about the potential um, to use deep learning as a way forward to manage that complexity I just mentioned.